Good morning on this feast of St. Joseph, the spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Hail, Holy Joseph, hail, spouse of all lady, hail, as pure as lily flower, in Eden's peaceful veil. Hail, Holy Joseph, hail, Father of Christ esteemed, be Father now to those whom Jesus redeemed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. And let us prepare ourselves to enter into this Holy Mass. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Almighty God, grant that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginning you entrusted to his faithful care. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our first reading this morning for this Feast of St. Joseph, husband of the Blessed Virgin Mary, is from the book, the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Psalm 89, the son of David will live forever. The son of David will live forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations, my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven, you have confirmed your faithfulness. The The son son of of David David will live forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The son of David will live forever. He shall say to me, you are my father, my God, the rock, my savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him and my covenant with him stands firm. The Son of David will live forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that came from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith so that it may be a gift and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants, not to those who only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, 
who is the father of all of us, as it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gave life to the dead, and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations. According to what was said, thus shall your descendants be. That is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, O Lord. They never cease to praise you. Praise and honor to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Lord. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of how was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Joseph was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you will name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and he took his wife into his home. For our salvation, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We know that Joseph, St. Joseph, the husband of Mary, was not a biological father, but he was the son of David who gave shelter and livelihood to the Lord Jesus. He became, because of St. Joseph, a son of Jacob, a son of David, a member of the royal family of Israel. In his birth, he fulfills the promise of the father the, ch to the chosen one of Abraham, and to the man after his own heart, King David. This just man, St. Joseph, beheld an angel of the Lord who said to him, Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid of ridicule. Do not be afraid of unfaithfulness. Do not be afraid of unrighteousness. Have no fear in taking Mary, the blessed virgin, Indeed, the power of the Holy Spirit has conceived this child within her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. This Jesus will rescue the people from fear and evil. St. Joseph awoke and fulfilled the command of the Lord through his angels. This difficult time that we face may seem to us like a dream, one like St. Joseph had, but yet we never seem to awaken from it. But yet St. Joseph showed us that he showed us not to be fearful, not to stoop to levels that God would not want us to be. So as we endure this difficulty, as we visit you through social media, and just a word to let you know the priests are fine, we're here still to serve you. The church is open. On this Sunday, we will have exposition of the Blessed Sacrament from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So please come to make a visit to church, but yet keep the social distance. But yet, St. Joseph reminds us that someday we will awake from this. But right now it is the power of our faith, enabling us to hope against hope, 
so that the whole human race will know indeed that we are children of God. Indeed, all the children of God will come to the new temple, the temple of the body of Christ. Through him, with him, and in him is the unity of the Holy Spirit to the glory of God the Father, who comes to live and move and have our being. Amen. The profession of faith. We'll say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We turn to God in whom all fatherhood has its origin and pray with confidence today to St. Joseph. Joseph watched over the Son of God. We pray for all priests and ministers who serve the body of Christ and who feed God's people with his body and blood. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Joseph was upright and honorable. We pray for all in public office that they may guide our people unselfishly and with wisdom, especially in these difficult times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Joseph cared for the family of Nazareth. We pray for all heads of family and for single parents, that they may have joy in their children, and that in this very strange way, enjoying their company in this togetherness that we share and have situation we find ourselves in now, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Joseph was a simple carpenter. We pray for all workers, that they may have fulfillment in their jobs. Let us pray as these times command that for those who cannot work or are unemployed, that they may find strength and courage and personal dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Joseph walked in faith and not in fear. We pray for ourselves that we may know the guidance of God in all things. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, the elderly, the homebound, people in the hospitals. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember all of our deceased, our deceased benefactors, the priests, the sisters who've labored in this parish, members of our families. Today, remember especially Monsignor McLaughlin, the founding pastor of this parish. His first name, of course, Joseph. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal and loving Father, you teach us profound truths in the simple home of Nazareth. May our mind be always open to your way and our hearts ready to follow you, your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spirit, the bread of life. Bless you be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice which we offer you with humbled and contrite hearts. 
Lord, wash me from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Please pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice and for the glory of your, of your praise. Father, we pray just as St. Joseph served with love and care your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and every way to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. On the solemnity of St. Joseph, you give us fitting praise to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God and set as the wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty and may our voices join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, that they may become for us the body, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks. You have held us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Humbly, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Nicholas our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, whose feast we celebrate today, the blessed apostles, the holy martyrs and saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Our Father, who art in 
in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Christ's peace be with you always. And with your spirit. And in home, offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teachings. Never let me be parted from you. Amen. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Father, defend with unfailing protection the family you have nourished with food from this altar, as they rejoice on the solemnity of St. Joseph and graciously, and graciously keep safe your gift among them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Amen. Hail, Holy Joseph, hail, glorious Father, hail, with filial love and trust. We ask your peaceful for our care. Hail, Holy Joseph, hail. Grace to us now bring, that we may grow in love for Christ, spouse, and King. Have a great day. God bless.